Today we are doing a basic hip mobility routine. Let's get started. Today we are doing a hip mobility routine. So I'm gonna tell you really quick what that means. Hip mobility is a way to get movement in your hip joints through active movements. So as opposed to just passive stretching, we're using active movements that are really effective to give you more mobility in your hip joints. You're just gonna need a chair or a kitchen counter, okay? So we're gonna start standing, and I want you to have your right hand on your balance item here, and then what we're gonna do is find some balance in the right leg, and you're gonna bring your left leg up and back down. All right, so we're starting right here. So I'm gonna take you through kind of a basic hip mobility routine. Don't think that that means easy. <laughs> hip mobility is not easy, especially if you've never done it before. But it can have so many benefits for hip joint, for our back, actually. Those hip muscles attach up near our back and onto our back bones, and so it can really help with back pain and affect that as well. So these are really important exercises that you can add in every day to your routine. So on this next one, I want you to lift up and then reach the leg out, bend and bring it back in. So I'll show you from the side what it looks like. So I lift and I reach, bend and back down, all right? So we're getting some mobility, some movement in the joint while we're actually working that hip flexor as well. So again, really effective way to get motion in the joint instead of just stretching through the muscle. All right, on this next one, I'm gonna change it slightly. So you're gonna lift, now open, lower it back down, and forward. So I'm lifting it up, and then I'm opening that left knee out to the left. I'm lowering the leg down and bringing it forward again. So it's almost like a circular motion through the joint. And one of the keys is you wanna keep yourself square forward, meaning I don't want this happening. Like I don't want you to have to turn your body to get the leg open, because that's not hip mobility. <laughs> that's just moving your torso to get the leg open. We're really trying to find motion just in the hip. Now we're gonna reverse it, okay? So you're gonna open it up, lift, Bring it forward, lower it down, right? So I'm gonna open, lift. And if you can do this without needing that balance helper, great, but feel free to use it. That's no problem at all. I'm not worried about that at all. <laughs> okay, good, one more. And yes, you are working that standing leg a lot. So if you're thinking, oh, I feel that, no worries, me too. Nice job, shake it out we have another side to do. So I'm just gonna move my chair over here. Okay, so when you're ready, plant that left foot down and lift and lower. Also, watch your posture when you lift the leg. So when the leg lifts, I don't want you bending or hunching forward like that. You're trying to really get as much mobility or motion in that hip joint as you can without the other stuff moving around. So without having to use your back or that rotation that we talked about to help. All right, on this one, lift, reach it out, bend and lower. And if it's not easy for you, I'm right there with you. Okay, this is something I work on consistently and it has helped my SI joint pain, my hip pain a lot. Like I was one of those people that doing squats, I would always feel my hip flexors. This has helped. Okay, so on this one, lift, keep it bent, open to the right, lower it down, and then bring it forward again. So we lift it up, open, lower, and knee forward. Nice job. Okay, let's reverse directions. So I'm gonna open it. Lift, again, try not to hike your hip or lean to the side. Bring the knee forward and down. And this is kind of a great routine to get um, in the habit of doing when you're waiting for your coffee in the morning, when you're standing at the kitchen counter, when you're standing at the bathroom counter. 
This is a really nice kind of routine to go through. Nice job. Okay. Walk it out. We're going to come down onto the floor. Okay. So come on down. However you want to get there is completely fine. And we're going to sit leaning back. Okay. So I have my legs in front of me and your arms are back and you're leaning back. You can do this seated, maybe in bed or something like that, but I do want you leaning back. I don't want you straight up. That's gonna be a little too hard, okay? So you're leaning back. And what we're gonna do is bring the right knee out to the right and bring it back up. And then the left knee out to the left and bring it back up. So you can kind of feel, again, this is more active. We're using the muscles to help. One more like this. This is our little warm up here. Now, separate your legs a little bit more. You're gonna need more room. Bring the right knee out to the right. Bring it back up. Then bring it in, let it drop in. So that's the room we needed. And back up. So we're gonna do a few just staying on the right leg. Now here again, you're trying not to let everything else move. I don't want this happening, okay? I don't want your whole body and the other leg moving around. We're trying to keep it isolated in that leg. Okay, and then we can go ahead and go to the other side. So I'm gonna take my left knee out to the left, bring it up, and then let it drop in and bring it back up. And sometimes we can surprise ourselves with, you know, the difference from one leg to the other, the amount of rotation we have, maybe internal and external versus the other direction. Don't put too much thought on that right now. Just notice it. Say, oh gosh, that leg was a lot easier than this one. Huh? How about that? <laughs> no judgment, no worries. Most of us are different from side to side. Okay. That's just something for you to note. It's not something for you to hang on to or worry about. Okay, we're gonna do a few more, but I'm gonna show you a little more advanced if you would like to try it. What you'll do is the same thing, but you are gonna sit up now with your arms in front. And I'm gonna take that right knee out, back up, and in. So see that? So it's a little bit harder because my back muscles have to work quite a bit to keep me upright. I've got more core involvement here. So try a few of these each leg or just keep going with the one you were doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other leg. Good, one more. Nice job. All right, bring your arms back down. We're gonna go to one more, and I want you to have that chair close again because you're gonna decide if you wanna do the chair or the ground. So I'm gonna show you the option on the ground. On the ground for this one, what happens is we have the right foot back and the left foot forward, okay? And what happens is you're gonna come forward for like a hip flexor stretch, and then you're gonna come up, lean back to straighten the left leg out and forward, okay? And then arms will come in front. So this becomes an active stretch because we're not just hanging out, folding over the leg, we're moving through it and using those leg muscles to help us. Now, that's option one, like I said, if you don't like to be on your knee, so continue there, or, this is why I have the chair, if you don't like to be on your knee, I just want you to put your left foot up on a chair or a stool and do the same thing. You lean forward, up, back. Okay, so I'm coming forward, bending, really compressing the left hip, like come forward as much as you can. Squeeze through that left hip, then use the left heel to push up, straighten the left leg and hinge over the hamstring. Nice job. Last one, whichever version you're doing. And then when you're ready, come out of the position, 
And let's do the other side. You can stay down on your knee or you're just right here. So you come forward, press through the right heel to come up, straighten the right leg, lean or hinge forward, lift back up. Okay, and if I'm on the ground, I'm right here. So same, I'm hinging, kind of coming into that hip as much as I can for that compression. Then I press up through my right heel, straighten the leg and hinge forward. And you can probably hear from my breathing. This is work. <laughs> I'm definitely working to keep my core engaged, to keep myself upright, to keep it controlled. Let's do one more. Nice job. Bring the knees down and let's just find like a gentle forward fold standing. You can just reach on the kitchen counter and stretch it back or if you're down, you can stretch it back here. And then restack your spine to sit back up. Nice job. I know that's work. I also know how good it is for us. So again, that's something that you can incorporate every day or throughout the week to help mobility in your hips. And I'll see you on your mat soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when I have new videos that come out. You can find more, including my exclusive unlimited community with full length workouts, a workout calendar, recipes, and more over at jessicavalantpilates.com. Join our unlimited program. I would love to see you there.